A very good morning to all of you friends. Welcome back. Now in our previous video we have discussed about the structure of cell membrane or plasma membrane. We know that it is made up of protein and lipid molecules. Okay, there are two types of proteins present intrinsic and extrinsic. In our previous videos we have also discussed about diffusion and osmosis. Now in today's video I would like to give you some more concept about diffusion and osmosis and how substances actually move across the cell membrane okay so we are going to discuss about some terminologies very simple terminologies by the help of very simple diagram like diffusion like what is facilitated diffusion what is active transport and osmosis okay these are related terms so don't get confused now this diagram this diagram will not come in the examination but it is very very important from the point of view of clearing your concept regarding diffusion and osmosis and how molecules actually move across the cell membrane or the plasma membrane in our bodies okay now you know diffusion and osmosis these are very important processes for uh, for the you know normal functioning of our body for example diffusion and osmosis they help in maintaining the osmoregulation inside our body that means a water balance okay the fluidity of blood the movement of substances like gases solutes glucose amino acids sodium potassium hormones vitamins etc okay and they also maintain the water pressure or turgidity in case of plants it also helps in absorption of substances by the help of their root system so diffusion and osmosis are very very important for proper functioning of the system a living system so let us once again see by the help of some simple diagrams okay i have drawn a very simple diagram here this diagram is basically of cell membrane in our last video we have seen that the cell membrane is made up of some lipid molecules okay phospholipid molecules so it is a bilayer this whole structure is called the cell membrane okay and these are the proteins which are present intrinsic protein suppose this is the external environment suppose this side is the external environment okay the environment external to the cell or the tissue this is the environment that is present inside the cell suppose okay now molecules can move across this membrane from outside to inside the cell by the help of three processes okay let us see what are they the first process is diffusion in which you can see there are some gaseous molecules like oxygen carbon dioxide which can move from their see higher region to a region of low concentration just through the phospholipid molecules this is called diffusion okay so diffusion is the process of movement of solute or gaseous molecules from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration that is diffusion now in case of facilitated diffusion see in case of facilitated that means by the help or by the assistance of carrier molecules these are the carrier protein molecules these molecules they are forming some sort of channel through which the molecules like glucose amino acid they can easily pass through the cell membrane okay so that is why this is called facilitated diffusion so this is diffusion this is facilitated diffusion that takes place by the help of carrier molecules protein molecules okay and there can also be another type of movement across the cell membrane okay but in this case see atp molecules are utilized that is why this is called active transport whereas diffusion and facilitated diffusion they are called passive transport because energy is not required by the cell but in this case energy is expelled by the cell the cell has to consume atp okay in order to allow the substances to move from outside to inside the cell that is why atp molecules are used so it is called active transport okay and see this can be against the concentration gradient also see it is moving from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration okay that means the cell wants these molecules like sodium potassium ions or salts can be there or also glucose or amino acids can be there which moves from a region of low concentration to high concentration okay because the cell require these by molecules so the cell has to expel some uh, at the expense of some atp okay it has to consume some atp in order to take in the substances from outside to inside 
so all this can happen in the opposite direction also okay depending on the concentration of the biomolecules or the solute for example during respiration carbon dioxide is produced inside the cell so excess amount of carbon dioxide will move from this region to this region so from a high region to a region of low concentration okay so molecules can easily move across the cell membrane by the help of th these three processes so diffusion facilitated diffusion and when ATP is required that is called active transport that is against the concentration gradient okay so these three are simple and easy to understand now osmosis let us see what is osmosis how is it a little bit different although osmosis is a type of diffusion only okay osmosis in osmosis there is no movement of solute molecules but there is movement of water molecules then these other that means the molecules water molecules they move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration so osmosis is a type of diffusion but there are differences in case of diffusion solute molecules move from a region of their high concentration to low concentration but in case of diffusion osmosis molecules water molecules they move from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration okay and in both these two cases mind you both in diffusion as well as in osmosis they are passive type of transportation that means atp molecules are not required okay please remember atp molecules are required only in case of active transport not in case of diffusion or osmosis okay because these are free movement of water molecules or solute molecules now in case of osmosis see suppose this is one cell this is another cell okay now this side if you see this is a dilute solution because here the number of water molecules are more and the number of solute molecules are less but in this case it is a concentrated solution so the number of solute molecules are more whereas the number of water molecules are less okay now after some time what will happen water molecules will start diffusing from this side to this direction only the water molecules because solid molecules are bigger in size they cannot cross this cell membrane and come to the other side okay so after some time what will happen these water molecules from this side will will be transferred to this side okay but the solute molecules cannot be transferred in any side mind you some amount of water molecules can also move from this side to this side also okay but that is very rare rare case for example that is called reverse osmosis okay reverse osmosis now that is a different concept so once again in case of osmosis water molecules move from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration okay that means this is a dilute solution and this is a concentrated solution a dilute solution is a solution in which number of solute molecules the pink one okay number of solute molecules are less and number of water molecules that is a blue one are more in case of a concentrated solution number of solute molecules are more but number of solvent molecules or water molecules are less so this is a dilute solution this is a concentrated solution now let us see after sometimes what will happen after sometimes the number of see water molecules had reduced from this side because majority of them have been transferred to this side okay so equilibrium can never be achieved in case of osmosis see this solution and this solution both are different this is a solution that is having less number of solutes but this solution is having more number of solute that means sugar or salt molecules so they are different types of solution but the number of solute molecules by water molecules this side as well as this side they have achieved more or less same concentration okay so in case of osmosis what happens molecules move from a region water molecules they move from a region of their high concentration to a region of their low concentration so that water molecules the ratio of solute and water molecules are similar in both the sides okay previously this was highly concentrated but now water molecules are more here that is why this side there will be a rise in level of water and this side there will be a you can say the level of water will 
lower okay so this is osmosis and diffusion now in our ncrt book if you see page number 67 some ncrt questions are given there a very interesting experiment is also given uh, regarding peeled potato now let me explain that peeled potato in this case what happened they have taken four peeled potatoes okay that means we will take potato and peel it and then we will scoop out the potato and make some cup like structures okay so we have taken four potatoes so peel the potato the outer peel remove that peel and then divide into two pieces and then scoop out the potato from inside in order to make some cup shaped structures okay now in the first case suppose a suppose b c and d in this case see they have dipped it in a beaker of water and left it as it is so this is called control control experiment okay in case of b you see they have taken some sugar and inserted in the potato and it it has been dipped in a beaker or a trough of water okay in case of c some salt molecules are placed here and the whole potato is placed in a beaker containing water and in case of d they have taken some sugar but in this case the potato is boiled okay it is peeled but it is boiled potato so these three potatoes are only peeled not boiled but in case of this potato the potato is peeled as well as it is boiled okay that is a difference so nothing has been kept here sugar salt again sugar but in the boiled potato okay so we will leave this arrangement for two hours now after two hours what will be the observation okay in case of this potato see there is no sugar no salt okay so water is present here but there won't be any collection of water in this cup shaped hollow region okay because movement of water will not take place because there is no solute or concentrated or dilute or concentrated concept here like here dilute and concentrated concept is there here there is no dilute and concentrated concept because concentrated salt or sugar is not present so the molecules water molecules will not move okay they will not be transferred from here to here but in case of sugar and in case of salt in these two potato okay water molecules will slowly cross these membranes and they will come and collect here so after two year, uh, two hours we will see that there is salt solution and sugar solution in case of b and c okay so some amount of water has been collected in this hollow region of the peeled potatoes in both these cases in case of sugar as well as in case of salt okay but in case of boiled potato let us see what will happen the same arrangement here but in case of boiled potato we will see that although sugar is present in the hollow portion but water will not come and collect in the hollow portion because it is a boiled potato so dead cells do not conduct osmosis okay so that is the difference between this one and this one here concentrated solution is not present that is why no movement of water molecules from a region of their high concentration to a region of low concentration here also because boiled potatoes have been used so dead cells are present so osmosis will not be conducted in case of dead cells but in case of sugar and salt molecules will move from a region of their dilute concentration okay dilute concentration to a region of concentrated solution that means water molecules will move from a region of their higher concentration to a region of their lower concentration that is why there will be increase in the solution of these two potatoes okay similar to this okay so please go through these notes i will upload them in the in your uh, message box okay go through them and then uh, read the notes some assignments will be given please write those assignments in your classroom copies you may draw these diagrams or may not these are not very important from the point of view of examination this will not come in the examination but it will help you to clear your concept about diffusion and osmosis and how molecules actually biomolecules actually move across the cell membranes in our body okay thank you so much for watching this video